Here we're standing in front of Red Maple, which is Acer rubrum and the Acer ACA family. Red Maple is native to Georgia. It's typically found on swampier soils, moister soils, but it's found in a lot of different sites and it's really expanding to even drier sites now. The bark on red maple is fairly smooth and light gray when it's young. As it matures, it will start to develop deeper ridges and occasionally some furrows and it can become darker gray. But on this individual, it's fairly young, so it is light gray bark. Red maple, like all maples, is opposite. And this is a good example with the twigs directly across from each other. The leaves on red maple have three, occasionally five lobes, but typically three lobes. One, two, three. A good way to remember that is if you spell red, R-E-D, that's three letters. So R-E-D, three lobes. The upper surface is dark green. The lower surface is a little bit lighter, a little bit paler. Red maple, especially towards the fall, will mostly have these red petioles, but that's not a hard fast rule, so don't go by it actually always having red petioles. The buds are reddish and blunt and have imbricate, imbricate scales, so that means that they're overlapping. Red maple is a soft maple, so that means that it has a serrate margin. That means that it's Samaras, its fruit, develop in the spring. So a good way to remember that is soft serrate spring. So if it's a soft maple, that means it's gonna have a serrate margin, and that means that its Samaras are gonna develop in the spring. Key identification features for red maple, when it's young, smooth, light gray bark. If it's an older individual, a little bit rougher, maybe starting to develop some furrows. Three lobes on the leaf, a serrate margin, and the Samaras that develop in the spring.